Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Megan Kelly, and we begin this morning with child brides. It is happening right here in America with girls too young to vote or even to drive. And for some girls, it is a choice that they have not even freely made. 24-year-old Ashley Duncan remembers the day she got married to her boyfriend. She was just 15. I didn't know I was getting married that day. That's why there was no wedding planning, no party, no white dress. Well, I got up and I went to school. I was getting on the bus to go home. And my aunt actually got on the bus and said, come on, you're gonna get married today. Ashley's aunt and legal guardian at the time brought Ashley and her 18-year-old boyfriend to the courthouse. I remember whenever he was reading our vows, I was really didn't know what to say. The part that I was supposed to say I do at, I said, I guess. And my sister whispered, you're supposed to say I do. Just two weeks earlier, Ashley, then a high school freshman in Steele, Missouri, discovered she was pregnant. Well, it got hard. Here I am, pregnant, I'm a bride, and a freshman in high school. She dropped out of school and had two children over the next two years. Marriage was hard, it was rocky. Ashley and her husband split up when their second son was about a year old. If I could go back and talk to myself, I would tell myself, this is not what you want. You know, my child is definitely what I wanted, but to be in a lifelong commitment to a husband is not something I should have done at 15. Missouri is one of the most lenient states when it comes to the legal age of marriage, only requiring the signature of one parent or guardian for children as young as 15. In fact, with a judge's order, children there can be married at any age. Holly Rader is a state representative in favor of making it harder for teens to tie the knot. For her, it's personal. I grew up on welfare and my mom didn't work. She struggled with mental illness. She was married five times, lots of uh, boyfriends in and out of the house, you know, beating my mom up. I wanted out of that. So at 15, Holly got her mother's permission to marry her 21-year-old boyfriend. Getting married at a young age was um, how I saw my way out. So I bought material, made my own wedding dress, and bought some flowers to make a, a small bouquet. Four months later, Holly was pregnant. She dropped out of school to care for her mother, injured in a car accident, and for her own daughter, born shortly after her 16th birthday. Holly and her husband got divorced seven years later. Getting married at 15, you don't really know what you want. Looking back, I would have had a much stronger path had I waited out the three years, graduated, and then gotten out. Joining me now here in the studio, Ashley Duncan and Holly Rader. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Ashley, let me start with you. Is it, is it true then that you didn't even know you were getting married until the day, was it your, your grandma pulled you off the, off the bus? My aunt. Your aunt pulled yes. you off the bus? Yeah, I didn't know I was getting married until that day. And so she just said, come on, we're going, you're getting married? Yes. And what was that like, the beginning days of your marriage? What was that like for you? It was hard. Um, I was very nervous. And I really didn't know at the time what I'd gotten myself into. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you look back at it now, this is, you're 24 now? Mm -hmm. This is nine years ago. A lot of people say having, a ba having the baby is the biggest commitment and, and marriage might pale in comparison. How do you see it? I knew from an early age that I wanted to be a mom, but I mean, it's something I should have waited on. I didn't know that I was gonna be married at 15. I mean, were you in any way ready for marriage? No. And, and how, how was it? The marriage was hard. We struggled um, financially, and it just wasn't the best choice that I, sh I should have made that choice to do that. Are you with him now? Um, we are currently married, but we are separated. Okay. And did you, did you ever go back and graduate from high school, or is that a goal? It's one of my goals, yes, but... Um, I dropped out of high school a few months after we had gotten married. Mm -hmm. This We've heard this story many times, Holly. I mean, I would say you're the exception uh, as somebody who's gone on and become a state legislator and 
it's hard. You you set yourself back, or in, in this case, her parents, I mean, her aunt and uncle sent her back by sort of pushing into an early marriage. Wrong? Am I right? Right. It's a much, I mean, the path is so much more difficult. If you, if you can stay in school, graduate, and then figure out what you want to do, I mean, how much how much stronger your path can be. But, um, you know, I, quitting school to help take care of my family, I was married, um, then had a baby right afterwards, and, um, and, and I realized, I mean, I was still torn between, I'm a kid, I wanna be a kid, I wanna do kid things, but I know that it's, I have to be an adult, I have to handle my responsibilities, and so I always did. But, um, you know, looking back now, of course, it's like, wow, I could have really changed things. I could have had a much easier road had I just gotten educated, gotten my deg my high school degree first. Well, and you were too young, really, to fully appreciate. I mean, I hope you see both of right. you that that you were too young to even be forced to make those decisions. The state has a role in this, and your guardians or parents have a role in this. Um, I read that in Missouri, some of the girls getting married at age fifteen are getting married to men as old as in their fifties. That, as long as your parent signs off on that right now, you're fine, that's okay? Right, and that is um, what uh, Representative Gene Evans had brought this bill forward for was actually the sex trafficking um, problem. Mm -hmm. And so that's what it was launched out of. And, but, you're, um, but you're getting pushback because she's, she's pushing for a bill that would make them bare minimum, you cannot get married in the state of Missouri if you're under 17. And, th and there was not support for that. Why? So, and the reason is, is because we have a high Mennonite, um, Amish population, and so within their culture, they're, um, the boys go to school through eighth grade, and then they quit and, and become uh, carpenters or, or what have you, and so it's really a line teetering on, okay, are we getting into religious freedom, right? or are we helping, you know, with getting over the government, looking over... Um, Parental rights as well, right? But but we but to me we set that age already. I mean we we've set it at fifteen, you know, or fourteen, under right. So under, the state is already interfering. Exactly, and so so then what is the appropriate age? What is responsible? Yep. And um, and I think seventeen makes sense. And that's just to have a judge look over it. I mean that's not even saying that um you can't. That's and, and it's not just Missouri. There it. there are several states in the union where where it's lawful to get married at. 15, as long as you have the signature of a parent. Right. Uh, and really, usually only one parent or guardian. So That's it's, all I had was one parent. It's far too easy. Do you want to see the law change? I mean, would you have liked to, to have see, had it be illegal for you to say, I do, on that day? So oh, it wasn't an option. Definitely. Yes. It and, shouldn't be allowed for 15-year-olds to get married. And to the other girls who are out there worried about making a similar mistake, getting pregnant, without being married, while being too young, what do you want them to know? If you're, in a, if you're 15 and you're in a relationship that you think is gonna last forever, you could at least wait until you're 18 to get married. That's right, there's no rush. We need to break the cycle of poverty. And that's, that's one of, of the stepping stones mm -hmm. in that because women have so much more of a financial responsibility now than, than we did 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so it may have been all right to get married at 14 or 15, you know, our great grandparents' age um, when they were 14 or 15. But now we have, we have so much more opportunity as women. We have so much more financial responsibility that we really need those, those extra years to be prepared. Amen. Thank you. Thanks. We want to mention that we learned about this issue in the Kansas City Star, whose staff have been doing an unbelievable job reporting on the teenage marriage uh, issue in their state. You can go to today.com slash Megan Today for more information. We'll be right back. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.